thanking him for his mercy, thanking him for his love, thanking him for this great privilege of just being able to stand in the sanctuary one more time. In spite of all that is going on around us, God has been good to us, and so we have all right to give him praise. Just want to say good evening and welcome to all those who are joining us on Facebook Live tonight. We just want to ask you to just worship the Lord with us. We're here to give him glory, to give him honor, because we cannot allow what is happening to prevent us from giving our God the praise. Doesn't matter what is going on, we know that our God is still in control. And so tonight we're going to worship him with all of us who are here right now. We're going to just give God glory. Just lift your hands and just worship our King of Kings. And we're going to right into our praises right now. When we sing in this chorus, this is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. And all that I do is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 
Thank you, Jesus.
God Almighty. Lord God, each of us is privileged to be able to worship you, God. Hallelujah. We give you thanks for your mercy, for your love, for your kindness, God, that have extended to us each day. Oh, God, we are, we, we are of the understanding, Lord God, that we are not in the ideal situation, but God, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Because, God, it could have been worse tonight, God. Hallelujah. And just for that reason alone, God, we just want to lift you up, God. Because we know, hallelujah, that in spite of what is happening, God, you still sit upon your throne. Oh, God, you still deserve to be worshipped. You still deserve to be lifted upon high. You still deserve to be exalted in all the earth, God.
for the opportunity, praise God, to share my testimony with you all. Praise God. God has been good to us. God has been so many things to me. Praise God. If it wasn't for salvation, tonight I would not be what I am tonight. I am truly grateful for salvation. I'm truly grateful to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Sometimes God calls you from an early age and you wonder why God calls you so early, but God knows and He sees what is going to take place. Tonight, I just want to say, I prove God as a healer tonight. Praise God. He is a healer to me. Praise God. I was diagnosed 2012. Praise God. 2012 with stage 2 nasopharyngeal cancer. Right at the back of my throat. It was just an inch from my brain stem. Very aggressive type. Glory to God. I sense of God when I went praise God for treatment at Conwell Regional. They said to me that this cancer is very aggressive. Praise God. They went ahead just as I came and the other day they took out the tumor. It took them so long to find the tumor. I went there from 8 o'clock and I never came out of surgery until about 7 in the night. When I came out it was dark. And they were telling me it was a difficult spot. But they managed to take it out. When I went back for chemotherapy, praise God, they can get they gave me six months to wait. You know, I said six months, I should wait six months, and the cancer is so aggressive. The doctor told me that they did not have any space on the list, and I will have to go and wait for six months. I said, doctor, this thing is very aggressive, the type of it, and it is just an inch away from my brain stem. You know, they still said I should have, uh, have to wait six months. I said that I am starved. He said you have to wait six months. Saints of God, I came home. I was feeling so depressed. But I thank God that the church prayed for me. Saints of God, hallelujah to God. Prayer works. Prayer changes things. When we communicate with God, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I am a product of prayer tonight. Praise God. I waited for the six months. When they saw me come back, they could not believe, praise God, hallelujah, that I was still well. Glory to God. When they start me on chemotherapy, and when they put me on a, on a very rough type of chemotherapy, and they turn up the radiotherapy on me up to 8.0 because I said that the cancer was so aggressive. Since I was burned black, I went through chemotherapy and went to for eight weeks. There was no white blood cell in my body. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. And in all of that, I was not admitted. I went to chemo every day, uh, every Tuesday, and radiotherapy every day except weekends. Praise God. And saints of God, I could not eat anything. I could not drink anything. For weeks, saints of God, inside of my mouth was so burned. Hallelujah to God. It looked like my tongue was rattling off. I was a coughing up sloth. Hallelujah to God. From my throat. I couldn't even drink water, saints, praise God. Every time that I felt that the death was coming, I would go over by the hospital and they would give me IV fluid and keep me for the night and send me home the next morning. Saints of God, if you saw me, I was down to skin and bones. My hair was gone. Hallelujah to God. I was the sick saints of God. Many people saw me and thought I would die. Praise God. My workplace is designed specially for me because I thought that I was not coming back to work. But thanks be to God's saints. Praise God. I am here tonight as a living testimony because when God said live, hallelujah, praise God Almighty, I am living today because God said live, hallelujah. 
you know, we were at Conwell with a, some of the, there was a nurse there that was taking the chemo with me. She died the very next year. Praise God, there was another student who came up with the same type of cancer. And she died about six months after being diagnosed. There was another lady that was working in the operating theater. When I went back to clinic and I asked for her, they said that she died and buried from the November. And I went back to January. Saints of God, all those who the same type of cancer with me, that we took radiotherapy and chemotherapy together, they are dead saints. And I am the only one standing. And it's not 2020. And I'm still giving God the glory. Still giving him the praise. Hallelujah to God. Some people say that your cancer is in remission. Praise God. I just want to tell the devil that you are a liar. When God say you are healed, you are healed. I don't have a cancer in remission. I am healed. Praise God Almighty. From days of hunger, your cancer. God healed. Hallelujah to God. They watch me and watch me and watch me until I start to put on weight and put on weight and put on weight. My hair began to grow back. And I am here tonight, saints of God. Every time there was a lady at my workplace who said to me, Hallelujah, I took my leave. And because of you, I was baptized and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I have seen, praise God Almighty, backsliders on the road. Who jumped up and said, Nurse, hallelujah. I was walking one day out of, out of the bus park and I saw a lady across the road and she was just leaping up and was screaming, Nurse, nurse, praise God because of you. I am going back to my church. I am going back to my church. I look at you and I see that you never die. And I know that there is a living God. And I'm going back into my church. Many people.
We need to tell you thanks for your goodness, for your mercies, for your love, for your patience. You are and has been so good to us, God, that we lift our hands tonight. Wherever you are, in your bedroom, wherever you are, walking on the street, if you're on your phone, just tell God thanks because you still have life. Thank you because you still, the breath still going in your body. Hallelujah. There's so much in it. At the parts of the world, they don't have this privilege. They are dead, but tonight we are alive. And well, and we have much to tell you thank you for. Hallelujah. He has been so good. We are not looking at the crisis. We are looking ahead. We are looking at the price. We are looking at the mark what we want to reach. And tonight we are going to tell him thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercies towards us. Hallelujah. As we come as we gather in this passion to give God thanks. Tonight I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. I want to greet, hallelujah, the media. Hallelujah. Those that are watching in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To everyone that is in your bedroom tonight, God. Hallelujah. We'll touch you wherever you are. Hallelujah. The word will reach you also. Mighty God, because we know and who we serve tonight. We believe in a mighty God that holds the universe in his hand. And whatever he does, it is well done. Hallelujah. So we are not fearful. We are. No, we are very happy, but we are just careful, but not fearful. Hallelujah tonight. We, 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 we come to give God thanks. We come to magnify Him. We come to glorify Him. We come to praise Him. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Tonight, as I stand before you to bring a word, I won't be long. Hallelujah. We've been very short tonight. Hallelujah. As we all know that, hallelujah, what's happening in our world, in our society. Hallelujah. A wide, the wide world, what hallelujah, fear has. It comes, hallelujah, we, we see that we don't serve a God that walk with a gun in his hand or a, hallelujah, bomb on a chuck, hallelujah, or with a nuclear weapon. He just said one thing and the whole world shake. That's the kind of God we serve. Hallelujah. And when you see all this, we should serve him with a true heart because he's mighty and he's powerful. He's the one to fear. Hallelujah. Tonight, we, as we come, I want to draw your attention to a passage of scripture from Seth, Seth, no, Matthew 14. I'm going to read it from the 28 verse 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. Say, it is a spirit. And they cry out for fear. But straight away Jesus speak unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter said, answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. He began to sing. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him. And said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Hallelujah, praise God. Tonight, I will just draw your attention to this word. I, I want to say this to you keep your eyes on the prize, keep your eyes set on Jesus. Make sure you are not taken up by nothing else. But keep the mind of Christ in you. Guide your mind. Protect your mind. There are so much things come to take you away to let you Start to go into fear and God to panic. Forgetting about the creator. About who he who wore the universe in his hand. My attention brought me back to Egypt. When the children of Israel were in bondage and they cried unto God. And 
And God sent Moses to deliver them. And when he sent Moses to deliver them, he didn't just send them, he said, there were plagues in Egypt. There were plagues of the boy, the plagues of the hell, the plagues of rock, dust turning into lies, the plagues of fly. But the children of Israel were delivered from Egypt. They were going because God promised them a land of milk and honey. They were going to the wilderness. And while they were going to the wilderness, the eyes was turned to Christ. The eyes was turned to the milk and the honey and the land of promise. But they become fearful of what kind until they start to question God hands. They become so fearful until they start hallelujah, to rebel against God. And when they start to rebel against God, even Moses was so wrathful and get angry. Because he had seen what the things that God had done for them. They weren't seeing what God did. They were looking at the troubles. They were looking at the hallelujah things that is coming after them and we are all the one place. Hallelujah, that looking good now. Hallelujah, the red sea before us. We, it was a time to glorify God. It was a time to send praise. But it was just a time for some. Hallelujah, we were telling them that hallelujah, giving God thanks. Hallelujah, that he brought them out of Egypt. And while they become fearful, hallelujah, and rebelled against God. Hallelujah, the God of heaven got to turn around and swear his rod and they should not enter his rust. Because of the fear, hallelujah, and rebellion that they had, they did not gain the choice. I see here, I look in the text of Peter, hallelujah, he asked God to come. He asked him, God, bid me to come. And the Lord said, come, but when he was going on the water, fear developed, hallelujah. He was become fearful, there was a panic there. There was a panic right there, and Peter began to sink, because the panic took a hold of him. And he was going down, and he had out to God. When he called out to Jesus, he was holding him and touching and lift him up. Hallelujah. I'm saying all I'm saying tonight is hallelujah. Don't let fear get a grip of you. Fear is tormentor. Fear come to kill her. Fear come to destroy her. Fear come to end her. You from serving God. You will look at the problem and don't look at he who can solve the problem. You will look at the disease and don't look at who can. The universe, all things belong to Him. Hallelujah, wherever you come, Hallelujah, whatever you do, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God has the last say upon the face of this earth. He's the one that doeth all things in His time and in His season, and whatever He does, Hallelujah, it is well done. Hallelujah, when you see all these things, the Bible tells you to look up for your redemption. Draw nigh. I can see why the plague was in Egypt. Fear is hot. There are so many, hallelujah. See all these things, they take it as a game. They take it as some kind of things. A gift. Hallelujah. When they should be and they should be looking at the creator. That they should see that God is coming soon. That they should turn their life to God. Hallelujah. Before they do that, their heart becomes tough. This is the time and the season. Hallelujah. For God to get the glory. Oh, the whatever he does. Yes. Hallelujah, so much in your home tonight. Wondering where hallelujah, will be the next move. What will happen next? I'm telling you tonight. Give God the glory. Take your thought for tomorrow. Because tomorrow will fight for itself. And God hold tomorrow in his hand. And for the children of God, we walk. Hallelujah. Not by my love and power. And we walk by faith. We know that He protects and He keeps and He guides. We know that He protects all the sea. While the children of Israel were down there in Egypt, hallelujah, they were protected, they were guided by the hands of God. They were on His protection. No plague should not come down their dwelling. No harm should harm them. They were 
broken, hallelujah. Hallelujah, they were inside and nothing could pass them. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should not have you take caution and do necessary things. But in spite of all this, how do you make sure how you know that you have God yes. in your heart? Make sure that you have the protector, the one who can sanitize the soul, the mind, and the spirit. He that can sanitize your mind for you to take strength. He that can sanitize your minds for you to do the right thing. He that can sanitize your liquor. Stop it from cursing. Stop it from swearing. Stop it from doing those wrong things. Right. The word you must give the word of God in your heart that 
The devil come right in to mess up. Hallelujah. To mess up. So you have to hold to that word. Make sure that the word firm Because it's not going to seem as if it's going to come to pass. It's not going to seem as if anything good will come out of it. It is going to be when God speaks the word, everything going to be against your God. But remember, stay put on the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If the children of Israel were looking at the word, that I'm going to give you a line of milk and honey flow. After when they were in bondage, they were in bondage in Egypt. They were suffering. They were the one that called on God. They were the one that didn't grow in it. And at one time, they said, it's better to go back in Egypt. Hallelujah. They become so fearful of what they see now. They become so ungrateful because of what they see now. They did not remember that the promise is Canaan. The promise is that in the land of milk and holy flowing. They did not remember that this is where we are going. So we're not going to look at this now. We're going to look at the promise. We're going to look at the promise. The struggle is here now. The things are bitter here now. Hallelujah. The mountains are before us now. But I'm going forward because God promised me. He makes me a promise. And if He gives me to come, I'm going to walk and walk. I'm going to Thanks. 
still. Despite of the fears, we should stand still and see the salvation of our God. Though the fears may be around us, we shall we must not allow the waves to stop us from going forward. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing for our closing, hold to God on changing hands. And I'm sure at this time, I'm going to ask everybody to come together for prayer, to pray for the nation rather. The Bible says that if I should shut up the heaven, that there be no rain. If I should send locusts to devour the land, if I should send pestilence upon my people, if my people who are called by my name, if they would just humble themselves, pray, see my face, turn, you know that this world needs some turning, turn from their evil ways, then I will want hear from heaven and I will heal the disastrous stuff that is happening. Amen. Oh, to God, to God's unchanging hands. Oh, to God, to God's unchanging hands. Oh, God, stand, Lord, with the power, not of fear, but 